So now we'll be talking about esters, and esters are compounds that are present in your shampoo, that are present in your food, and so on and so forth, because esters taste nice and they also smell nice. Now, esters are formed by the reaction between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol, and let's demonstrate this by these two compounds and the reaction between them. Now, if you watched the previous videos regarding organic compounds, you're going to know what are these compounds by now. So let's name them together. In the first compound, we have two carbons and we have an O double bonded to the compound and we also have an OH bond. Therefore, this is ethanoic acid. Now, the second compound we have we have in it three carbons and we have an OH bond. Therefore, this is an alcohol and this is propanol. Now, this reaction happens in the presence of heat and concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, what happens in, in this reaction is the following. Notice this. So, forget about this part of the compounds for now. We're going to focus more on these two right there. So what happens is the following. Now notice this. The OH from the ethanoic acid reacts with the H in the propanol to form water. So this is our first product. Now our second product will be the ester and the ester will be formed as follows so let's draw our ester now we have the rest of the compound like this then we have the double bonded sorry this is there's a there's one more carbon here and there's double bond and here is the o then you draw the rest of the carbons from the alcohol So what I did right there, I know I might have confused you here in this part, but what I did right there is that I took, let me highlight, so I took these, okay, the three H's and the carbon, and this carbon also with the double bond, and I also took this O, and the rest of the propanol, all of these carbons and all of these hydrogens, and I bonded them to form the ester. So notice this, we, we have our two carbons right here, and we have the three carbons from the propanol, only the difference here is these carbon bonded to the oxygens, right there, and this is the functional group, so this is the functional group of the ester. So this whole thing is our ester. Now esters have certain naming. Now we just don't call them an ester, they have a certain way to name them. Now the naming of esters can be a bit tricky so let's name this compound right there. So I just want to scroll back to the reactants and let me switch the color to point out where I am talking. Now here is it. Now notice this group right there. It's a C and it has three hydrogens. That means this is an alkyl group. Now also here, notice this, this is also another alkyl group and it's C3H7. Now we said the alkyl groups are one hydrogen less than the alkane and we talked about this previously. Now this is going to help us when naming this compound. Now or this ester. Now let's scroll right there and we're going to write naming of esters. Now naming of esters, the name itself has two parts. The first part, so the first part is a derivative, so let's denote this by a d dot of the alcohol. So it's a derivative of the name of the alcohol. The second part of the name is also a derivative 
of the carboxylic acid. Now in our ester here we had propanol and we had ethanoic acid. Now how do we name this? Well the first part we said is derivative of the alcohol and this derivative is actually the alkyl of this alcohol. So what's the alkyl is gonna be propyl. And the second part is a derivative of the carboxylic acid and this is gonna be ethanoate. So we always always use the weight when naming esters but the first part depends on the alcohol. Now let's see another ester and how do we name it. So let's see another ester. Now let's take this one, let me draw it. So it's a C here and there's three H's and then we have another C and then double bond O and then another O and then we have two carbons and five H's. Now let's name this ester together. Now we know it's an ester because of this functional group. Now this is ethanoic acid again. This is part of the ethanoic acid, not the ethanoic acid itself. And this is actually ethanol. So how do we name this ester? The first part is a derivative of the alcohol, which is ethanol, and the second part is a derivative of the carboxylic acid. Now, how do we name this? This is going to be ethyl ethanoate. So you notice here we also use the oate, but the, so the prefix depends on the carboxylic acid, and also the first part of the name depends on the alcohol. Now let's take a third example to make this pretty pretty clear. Now let's see. We have two C's and here are hydrogens bonded to it. And we also have a third C and there's the double bond and there is the O. Then we have four carbons and then we have the H's. Now, how do we name this ester? We know it's also an ester because of the functional group right there. So, how do we name this? So, the first, first part has three carbons, and we notice this is propanoic acid. Now, the second part is butanol because it has four carbons. So this is our alcohol, this is our carboxylic acid. Now how do we name this ester? We, we look first at our alcohol. So we have butanol, it's gonna be butyl, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, and then we have propanoate. And this is the name of our esters. Now I hope this video have clear things about esters and how to name them. I know the naming can be a bit tricky because it's the reverse of the ordering. Now let's recap. So in this video we talked about esters and we said that esters are formed from the reaction of carboxylic acids with alcohols and we indicated that and we said the products are water and an ester and then we moved on to how do we name this ester and we said that the naming has two parts the first part is a derivative of the alcohol the second part is a derivative of the carboxylic acid and we looked at some examples right there so if you're still having trouble with the naming if you didn't get it from what i said try reviewing my video again try pausing when i was doing the examples and try to figure it out yourself 
and I hope you're successful with that. So keep on practicing because with practice, you're going to become experts and you're going to ace your exams and get all A's. So good luck and thanks for watching.